All right, so in this video, we're looking at this graph, and we're testing it to see, uh, is there a way to break this graph by cutting an edge, or is there a way to break it by destroying a vertice? In other words, if, if we think of this in terms of computers and the wires connecting them, these vertices each represent a computer, and the edges each represent a wire, is there a way to break this network by breaking a wire or a computer? Let's test that first. So if I travel from this vertice, I travel along, I notice there's two options right here, right from the start. So in order to cut this computer off, I have to cut both wires. So I'm only going to try and find a situation where I can cut one wire, so I don't need to cut these. The same with this wire right here. It's one of many paths connecting each of these vertices. And in fact, it's happening over and over again. So far, every vertice has at least two edges going from it, or more. So the degree of every vertice is two or higher. In other words, I can't disconnect any vertices from this graph by cutting any one wire. I can disconnect by cutting two wires. But since the degree of every vertice is at least two, like this one's three, there are three edges. Here, this is a very strong point, right? There are five edges going in there. It's a degree of five and three, two, two, four, two, and three, and four, two, two, and two. So the, the wires are out, right? We can't just cut one wire and destroy this. But is there a computer here that is a, is a key link in the graph. In other words, if it was gone, we'd have a disconnected graph. And in fact, I think I think the answer lies right here. It's the computer with the most edges connected to it. The computer with the highest degree is really also the most vulnerable in this case. If this computer were to suddenly disappear, how could I get from these vertices to these over here? There's no other bridge between them except for this computer right here. So if we took this connection point out of the graph, we would actually have an entire graph that's broken. And I can draw that, right? This red graph right here, all these networks and computers ultimately depend on the computer with a degree of five, or the vertice of the degree of five. All these edges can't be connected to the green network over there. There is a computer that's vulnerable. So we're looking at the, the a graph and, and if it is connected or not, and you're thinking about designing a graph so that it is strong and it is hard to, to break, um, look at the look at the edges or the wires and the vertices or computers. Right? Think, is there is there is this network strong or is it really just as vulnerable as if I was to cut one wire? Because here I can destroy it by cutting just by cutting out one computer. So you want to think about that when you're looking at a network. Alright, hope that helps.